Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 85 to 86 due to Webtoon's new policy. I do the blur 50% of this each episode. So if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me, I do have all my reads and give you guys early access for the month of October 2023. Uh, with no filter, no censorship, and no cat logo blurs, all on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Woo! All right. Boof. Music is on. Purple Hyacinth, episode 85. Durr. In honor of the victims of Allendale train station tragedy, and those who perish while braving the danger to help, where you will be remembered. Thank you again for accompanying me here today. If it wasn't for Herman, no, you don't have to thank me. I have my own visits to make here. I won't be too far. Dylan Rosenthal. He was so young. The day we buried an empty casket. Planted a tombstone with your name on it. Yet, a part of me never buried you. Everyone thought you were dead. But you weren't in there. And if you weren't, then you could have been somewhere else. Somehow, alive, you could have, but... They're dead. Even if you were one of them, you'd be gone now. You're gone. Everyone's gone. All of these victims because of one man's crazy dream to change the world. Because our rulers chose to ignore their people's suffering. Were my parents responsible for this? Did they know? <sighs> my own parents. I don't want to believe it, but they created this very thing I swore to take down. Whether they wanted to quit or not, they were guilty. Rachel Ardwell Sinclair, Alexander James Sinclair. And I never noticed anything. Never heard any lie. Never. How could they? Why? Nothing is worth so many lives destroyed. Nothing. But I'll never know. Their secrets died with them. What am I supp even supposed to believe at this point? Why is it always the same thing over and over again? I've come to know so much, yet I know nothing. It isn't like that in our precinct. Everything here is so different. Are you really that different though? He was right. It never ends. Not like this. As cops, we're battling the Phantom Scythe. But the Phantom Scythe was created by the system we uphold. An endless, vicious cycle. Careful, Sinclair. You'll end up catching a cold. Did he lose someone that day too? Yeah, sorry. I think we can go. Alright, let's leave. Thanks for not running away. I probably would have been too scared to face Herman again. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, 
the sunlight peeping through. T -t slows down. Oh, I think it stopped raining. Uh. Rosie March. It's crazy how time doesn't change anything. It's been so many years. My daughter, Rosie, she would have been your age, you know. It reminded me a lot of her when I was visiting your parents when you were little. Yeah, I remember a little bit. You worked on cases together. Two brilliant lawyers, really. But my parents, they... They aren't who you think they are. Rosie was only six. And Annabelle, she was the most exceptional woman I have ever known. I've spent so much time wondering why them, when so many criminals are out there un unapologetically living. There isn't any reason or fairness in it. If there's one thing I've learned with our work, is that we don't get to choose whom tragedies fall upon. I knew you had a family, but if I may ask, how did they pass? Rosie was sick. We had tried everything we could, but we couldn't save her. And Annabelle. She fell into the bloody hands of criminals that have been plaguing Artelis for too long. She was murdered. I am so sorry to hear that. So am I. It's why we became both detectives, isn't it? To restore balance in this world. Mm. Fighting for justice seems noble and naive at the same time. I joined, I joined the police academy with so many ideas, ideals, all shattered in only so few years. There are definitely many wrong things with the current system, but in the end, it's all about what you are prepared to do and what you'll defend with all your soul. If there are things that are wrong, you must try to make a difference. didn't lead me very far. How can we defend these ideals if the system is constantly keeping you on the ropes for trying? You fight. Oh. But is it really worth it? The things I've done and doing, I deserve what I've gotten. All my life I've been told to do to let things go. That there wasn't anything I could do about them. That it was too late or pointless. Or that no one would believe me. I should have listened. Just look at the dis disastrous outcome of Chow's case. Forgive me, but if there's one thing Chow's case teaches us, is that there are causes that must be defended, even if they seem lost. Even if you're the last one standing. <sighs> yes, you have committed mistakes. But what matters is how you move forward from this point on. Learn from your mistakes. Become a better version of yourself to fight for your cause. <sighs> if you stop fighting now, will you ever end up regretting it? <sighs> It is hard, I know. Believe me, I do. When I opened my eyes in the morning, when I felt the warmth of the sun, or breath in the evening breeze, it reminds me that they're still here helping me fight in this system. And I fight for what they've given me and what they should have been given in this life. And I'll continue to always do my best for them. So what about you, Sinclair? Okay, let me do one last thing before we leave. Do it quick. I have to go soon, and I believe you have a big party to attend. <laughs> yes, it won't be long. T-t-t-t-t. 
Dylan, if you're up there somewhere, with everything that happened in the last months, I didn't know what to believe anymore. But one thing has not changed. I will never stop fighting for you. I just wish you were by my side. To guide me, somehow. And the New Year's party begins. <laughs> Hmm. Purple Hyson, episode 86. <sighs> Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. I hope you all enjoy your stay. Wow, Miss Sinclair has grown into a fine lady. Oh, Miss Sinclair looks ravishing tonight. Hawks and William, come in. Come in, how have you how have you two been? As per usual, Tristan, and yourself. Work is not giving me one second to breathe. But I am glad I could at least take could take at least this night off. Mm. And gather some friends and family for the celebrations. Your New Year's parties are always exceptional. It would have been a shame to miss it. My, my, Miss Lauren, you remind me so much of your mother. Growing more and more into a ravishing young lady every time I see you. Why is he lying? Thank you so much, Duke Cox. It's a pleasure to see you again. I'm glad you could make it too, William. And recovered from last night. <laughs> It's been tradition for as long as our families have known each other. It will be a bad omen to miss it. You look stunning in that dress, Lauren. I warned you being chief of police is no easy task, but your work truly speaks to your dedication. I don't regret my choice of successor. Seeing how hectic things are now, I can't imagine how you managed the Allendale events when you were still chief. You certainly earned your promotion to Army General. Why do they always repeat the same thing every year? At least now that I'm retired from my function in the Royal Army, I have more time for myself and my dear Josephine. As much as we love coming here each year, we can't stay long. We must return to her side. Totally understandable, Hawks. We all wish she could be here with us tonight. Please excuse us, Tristan. We should uh, go say hello to everyone. Come with me, William. There are a few people I want you to meet. I'm counting on you two to make a good impression. Yes, father. What is his father setting him up for again? Dakin, you made it. God, yes, it was so hard to escape the castle, but here I am. Where's our girl? Lord, I'm so glad to finally meet, see you, little Red. You're always locked up in your tower. But Uncle would have sent the entire APD to bring you here if you didn't show up. So romantic, isn't he? Yes, so romantic. Must be nice for you two to see each other again. Let's go in and grab a drink, shall we? Come on, we all know Dakin is really here to see you, Uncle. Let's get you away from the door before your ministers find you and drag you back to the castle. Don't worry, Tristan. I intend to stay hidden here for as long as I can. All the polite smiles. <laughs> mm. I haven't eaten anything other than a blueberry since season one. Oh. 
<laughs> yes, absolutely. <sighs> My sandwich. Milk. No. Wait. That's. <gasps> Was that? Mr. Evans? Is that his wife? I'm still not married. How did he end up here? Excuse me for a moment. I forgot to tell my uncle something. That he seriously needs to reconsider his guest list. Are you done with your drinks? Hmm. Yes. Here, I'll take care of the glasses. Oh, thank you. Got a dip. Mm -hmm. Why do I always end up being with, end up with so many cups? Ah, time flies, doesn't it? It makes me regret not taking you to the castle with me. As unkind as that environment is, I wish I could have been more present for you. Are we about to have a serious conversation while I'm holding three glasses? What are you talking about? You were always here when I was little. And with all your responsibilities, you couldn't take me in. Yup, we are. That's exactly what's happening. Besides, I have no idea how I could have put up with all those annoying protocols. I'm glad you've at least had a semblance of normal adolescence away from the castle. It's mainly why your uncle and I decided it would be best if you lived with him. You know, your father and I, we were inseparable since he came to Artilus for college. He met your mother in law school. Before I realized how quickly time had flown by, they were already married and asking us to be your godfathers. Does he know they were apostles? Sound like an old man, Dakin? Ha <laughs> I think I do indeed. I never thought they'll have to die so soon. Murdered by none other than their driver, another Phantom Scythe member. Does my uncle know? He and Dakin were the closest to my parents. He's never let anything slip through. Slip, though. Reminiscing about Rachel and Alexander? The Allendale tragedy and the following horrid days left profound scars on all of us. Many things could have been different had the police and the army had the right information. Yes, the outcome may have been very different and certain decisions been more thought through. With these uncertain loyalties of the time, any decision was a leap of faith. Showing strength in face of the enemy was the priority. What is this all about? Come on now, my old friends. Now is not the time to stir up Ardalus' past. The night is for festivity and hope for a better new year after all. You're right. Excuse us, Tristan. Yes, terribly sorry, Tristan. And we shouldn't have argued in front of the Sinclair's picture. They were always exemplary people. There was never an argument we couldn't settle. Or maybe him. I never found out what he lied about on that day. Could it be related? I'm getting paranoid. I need fresh air. Oh, uh, excuse me. I just remembered I forgot to greet someone. I'll see you later. Don't worry. There might be someone else arriving soon. Keep an eye out. I'll come by too in just a few moments. Sure, no problem. Who's arriving this late? Have fun tonight, my lady. I will. Thank you for driving me. You're too nice. You're too nice, my lady. You don't have to thank me every time.
Oh, uh, welcome. I don't think we met before. We haven't indeed. I assume you're Miss Sinclair? Yes, and you are... Oh, you've only arrived. I've been eagerly waiting for you. Lady Neira, Elena Darcy. She's pretty. A new character just arrived. I wonder who she is and why is she so gorgeous? Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, share with your friends, because this is one of the reads that I enjoy so much now. But I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!